Hi everyone, it's Miss Paris Parker here with Posey, having a little nap. I hope you're all safe and well. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create some artwork using dried flowers. So first I'll show you how to dry the flowers and then I'll show you what you can do with them to make some nice little decorations for around your house or maybe a birthday card. So the first thing you need to do is pick a few flowers. These are just a few out of my garden. Um, if you're lucky enough to have a garden, then see what you've got in there. If not, maybe go for a little walk, see what you can find. Then you're going to need two microwave safe plates. Just double check with whoever owns the plates that they are microwave safe. You'll then need two pieces of kitchen roll or kitchen towel um, on each plate, so four in total. Place a couple of your flowers onto your plate on top of two pieces of kitchen roll. And then you're going to place the other two on top. This is to absorb all the water out of the plants and then you're going to put your other plate on top and press down a little bit. We're then going to pop this in the microwave for one minute. So I'm popping my plate in the microwave so all the massive flowers are sandwiched in there for one minute. This should dry them out and we'll see what they look like when they come out. Right, one minute's up. Be careful when you get your plate out, it might be a bit warm. And let's reveal what they look like. Hopefully they're nice and dry. You don't want any moisture left in them really, otherwise um, it's not quite worked. Uh, they're stuck to the paper, which is fine. Just be careful when you peel them off, not to ruin any of your petals, but we've got some nice dried flowers. So you could use your dried flowers and stick them onto a piece of card that you folded in half and that would make a nice birthday card obviously for a little bit more than that or I've done these earlier these are actually on display in my house um, just some glass frames you can get these at B&M for about five pounds so that's one thing you could do with them or you can create your own version of one of these frames and I'm just going to show you quickly how to do that. So all you're going to need is a piece of card that you've cut into kind of a frame shape. You're going to need two pieces of cling film that are just a bit smaller than this frame and some tape. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tape one of these pieces of cling film onto the back of this. So I've taped that first piece of cling film down, it should be fairly tight so that you can't really see any wrinkles from the front. Then you're going to take your dried flowers and create a nice little arrangement, um, bearing in mind that the other side will be the front. So Once I'm happy with my arrangement, I'm going to take that second piece of cling film and I'm going to tape it over the back, fairly tight again, you don't want any wrinkles. And this is going to hold those flowers in place. So I've taken my second piece of cling film on, so now everything should be staying in place. And that's how it looks from the front. If you would like to create um, a handle for it or a hook, you can just sellotape a piece of string onto the back and then hang it up somewhere nice. So if I hung mine over my sink and then the sun gets to shine through, it's quite a nice little decoration. So here's all of our finished products. Obviously we've got the one in the frame that I bought, the one in the frame that I've made, and then the card. Let me know if you make any of these, send some pictures into my school email address or tweet them to the school Twitter account. So yeah, hope you have fun doing this. <laughs> 